Hello guys and welcome to VIP Access with Anyiko. Today I'm hanging out in Lagos, Nigeria with one of my favorite people at the Kunle Gold. We are the Lagos Beach Club. How are you feeling? You should tell him that you're my friend as well. <laughs> okay, he's my friend and I'm his friend. <laughs> How are you doing? You are the true definition of a style king. Like, how do you keep up with yourself? I feel like it's a problem for me because every day I just wake up like, what, what, what do I want to try differently this time, you know? So, it's a constant battle for me. I mean, not a battle because I enjoy it, but it's something that I enjoy doing. Like, just to just look a certain way that makes a statement and then, yeah, that's it. The most interesting thing is you actually do this yourself. There's no stylist, so is there any other person? Nobody. I mean, sometimes Donald, remember him, oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, for the most part now, it's been me all the way. Yeah. I know you recently got married and you're not really talking about this, but how is marriage life? I'm still not talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the answer. Anyway, I love you both. And your song um, that you did together is doing really good. You and See Me. Um, I mean, don't you want to talk about that at least? Oh yeah, the song is great. I mean, uh, it's doing amazing numbers and people really love it. The feedback has been, has been amazing and then that makes me happy. It's called uh, Promise. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, Aiko, I'll get you. <laughs> so I wanted to ask you about um, the collaboration, doing very well across um, Africa, across East Africa in particular. Uh, before you wake up, you know, what, what's the inspiration of this song and are we going to see some of this type of vibes from Adekunle? Because it's kind of like a crossover from the laid-back, very Pan-African sound, but it's kind of bordering pop, but it's still at the Kune and we love it. So basically, I've been having like creative ideas, I mean, to just really make um, different sounds, right? But the thing is, even if I try to do something entirely different, the Ade Kune go that's inside of me will just still stay on every sound. So give me a trap beat, I'll sound like me. Let me try to rap, I'll sound like me, you know what I mean? So. So I'm, I'm in a space where I'm just making different sound right now, um, and then it's, it's really working. I mean, talk about success of um, Before You Wake Up, for example. Before You Wake Up is mo it's most streamed. Uh, the video is mostly streamed in Kenya, and I'm, I like, that, that makes me really happy. I mean, that shows that uh, my people over there are really supporting me even you know, more. Kenya, Kenya, Tanzania, you know, the East Africa really, I mean, it's picking up. So I think, I think this is my first video that's really doing amazing numbers from there. I wanted to ask you about Simi. So she's like a dope music engineer and a lot of people don't know about this. Um, what can you tell us about like that? She's, I mean, she's an amazing songwriter. You already know that, a singer, performer, and then a sound engineering skill is way off the hook. Like she mixes my songs, you know, and then, yeah, right now she's into production. That's, that's an exclusive gist for you. She's, she's, she's great. She's great. I've just been talking to people around the industry um, in Lagos now that I'm here. And there's talk around town that Adekunle is going to sign a big deal with a big record label. So I don't know what yeah. you can reveal. Yeah. How come I've even, even me have not heard myself? <laughs> like, I mean, I'm praying, you know, yeah. I mean, this will be, it'll be a great deal. I mean, if it happens. But I mean, there's nothing like that for now. So. I think it's an honorable thing that a lot of people feel like you reach that status where it's just a matter of time uh, till a big record label decides to take you and like push your music to the next level. So where do you see Adekunle going in the next maybe couple of months? I'll be a lot more out there because of the kind of sound I'm making now. Um, I feel like I'm um, I'm changing narrative. So you will hear about me and it'll be like, this guy is really up to something this year. And then that's what I want people to know. I'm really up to something and then it's going to be it's going to be televised, it's going to be recorded and it's going to be history. Thank you so much Adekunle. Just wanna say guys, I love this guy so much because he's like the most humble, swagalicious artist, most talented. He's always Africa, okay? So Nigerians please get your backs off Adekunle. He's also always in Kenya and East Africa. Any other last <laughs> message you wanna to give to your fans, anybody watching? Ah, I forgot what you told me last time. I'm just going to say sour sour. <laughs> How about Asante Yeah, I mean Asante Sant. That's cheap. You told me something else. Ah, I forgot him, but yeah. It was when we were eating at that restaurant, the, the, um, where, where, we, where we bought chapati or something. And Cho, ah. It was something around food. And anyways, I love you guys. <laughs> I love you all. Asante Sana, and then thank you very much for supporting me. The whole of Kenya, the whole of East Africa. I feel I feel really honored that I mean I feel like people are listening to me more now and it, it makes it's a word of good for me because 
that's that's one that's one place I really wanted to be. Um, I mean, I wanted to be known, and I feel like finally it's happening. So, and I cannot wait to come for a show to give you a show like no other person has given you. I promise you, it's going to happen soon. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube. And next week, I will be talking to another celebrity, super celebrity from somewhere in Africa. Ciao.